We're going to take the next step in this uh, in this journey, this adventure. <laughs> First of all, let me thank you because you've made a commitment very early in your lives, relatively early in your lives, that sport matters. And I can't remember a time in my life from the age of 11 or 12 when I haven't felt exactly the same way. I think the forum is fantastic. I think it brings young, creative, smart people in my sport of track and field together to figure out the future. And that is really everything you would want from a forum. This Youth Leader Forum is a very good opportunity for the young people, they are maybe stepping out for the athletics career and uh, they are starting to realize how this uh, um, activity could be helpful not just for themselves but also for the society. Forum, forum is a great thing. Uh, for us, we meet each other, uh, we learn about other countries, what they do, what they think. Realizing that in fact we all have the same problems, the same issues, the same weaknesses, the same strengths. It's, it's, uh, I feel, I felt very much uh, like supported by everyone because we're all in the same boat, really. Yes. 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 We have Europe in one room working together. There are 45 different countries, different languages. But as it is always said, sport is a universal language. I think here at this forum you can really see it is. Because of the participants, though, we had a very high energy level. They worked hard on presentations before they arrived. The project I want to introduce today is called Youth Ambassadors for Doping Prevention. It's uh, a project from the German Track Association in cooperation with the National Anti-Doping Agency. And uh, what they do, they support over 20 young people who live all over Germany to um, be ambassadors for doping prevention. This mix of um, putting so many countries in one room and everyone is just saying their own thing and you can learn so much from learning from the different practices of other countries and things that you can take back and apply them to your little village, your community and uh, that, that, that's the great thing about it. Who knows how many volunteers are engaged for this event here in Zurich? Uh, 2,500. 2,100. Mm -hmm. And with all these volunteers we all interviewed them to make sure that they are the right place, that they can really do what they really want. We do also sponsor the Swiss Olympic Volunteer Program and that's our social responsibility uh, we have and we're not just talking about social responsibility, we are sponsoring this program and we are also saying thank you to the volunteers that are contributing to such a great, great activity to our sports in Switzerland. There's so much knowledge here, so uh, and just and that's both with other participants. You know, we talk about with the other participants from all around Europe, and they have experiences and they have knowledge that uh, that, that I will take back home to Norway and to you know to tell the youth committee and the the other people I meet through my voluntary work. And also, I, you know, I have some experiences that I can share and it's and I can get feedback. That has perhaps been the most valuable part of the forum so far. It's important for us to, to basically hear not just the theory that's behind, and, but also how other people decided to solve a problem in a creative new way. And um, I like the, the fact that we, we've been given the opportunity to, to talk with people that are really experienced in their own field. Not everybody is going to win a European or a, an Olympic title or a world championship or even get medals, but they can play a really important role in the development of their federations and ultimately, I hope, the development of the international sport. You want to be there. That's like, I think all of us just want to be on top and just getting to hear that someone gone all the way through is such an inspiration for all of us. Tonight is going to be amazing when we will be at the stadium in Letzigon and um, that will be, yeah, I can't wait for it to start. I've been to a big stadium uh, 
and, uh, all by myself. I have been with uh, my club, but this, that's not that's not a stadium, what you would call it down here. So for me, it's just whoa. <laughs> the Swiss house was definitely one of the highlights um, because we got the chance to be in the same place with many other volunteers, people involved into the into the Zurich movement. Yeah, but it's a good fun, just meeting um, the council members and um, we have a Swedish guy there, so just talking to him and his experience of the week. We need to maybe m more actively participate in the creation of the Athletics of Tomorrow and uh, I think that's the biggest takeaway that we all have to work on and uh, there's a lot to be done and there's a lot of work to do and. Uh, and now it's the time to, to just go out and do it. Being around everybody and just um, knowing that they love the sport as much as I do was so much fun. So I'm going to go home with a lot of positive energy and motivation to continue doing it. So We can really say that the quality of the work of the participants has increased always more and more. And that is a condition that you can also organize a high quality forum. We believe strongly that uh, sport lies at the heart of UNESCO's mandate and one of our main objectives is to empower young people so they get better in what they do. I love to meet new people who have the same interest who love athletics just as much as I do and um, who are willing to work on a volunteer basis and I really hope that I can uh, make this project, which is just taking place in Germany, to become an international project, to cooperate with all those young people here. So the opportunity that is here and I really like is the, the chance for them to exchange uh, and to grow together, but from their perspective, not because someone else is pushing them. I met uh, a lot of great people. Uh, that have um, worked on a lot of uh, different projects that uh, will help me in the future. It's, it's very empowering to know that we are all together, all together in this and we can all go back home and uh, give our suggestions to our respective countries. The biggest challenge in my sport is understanding how young people see the world. It's not just simply about creating shorter competitions or longer competitions or removing one round from the 800 meters. It's absolutely understanding the landscape that young people live in, how they see the world and how we can incorporate that thinking into the future of the sport. Without young people who are involved and engaged and motivated, no sport can survive. But just looking on what we had here in, in Zurich of, of the group, it's, we're in good shape and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the results that they produce in, in the long run.